move Strella 1 from the Piers docking compartment where they're currently located to uh, the Boys like Mini Research in module, which is not in view okay, in this on. in this screen. Uh, so the mobile link is now pitched down. Is that right? Yes. All right, and uh, I am restrained in place. Anton, so... Okay, I... Set it to closed. Is that good? Yeah, don't uh, tight, tighten it uh, too much. And uh, is it secure? It's secure, but it's a little closer to the FGB than I'd like it to be. Yeah, but as long as it uh, doesn't get close to the radiator, uh, I, I think we're good. Do you want to pitch it down a little bit more? Uh, yeah, let's try. Okay, and uh, my feet are restrained, so we're good. Copy. Yeah, let me uh, check the roll. So this is the FGB. Let me get out of the retainer. Uh, can you m push it towards me? Hang on. Did you uh, restrain it at all? No, I didn't, but it's not budging anyway. Yeah, I, I don't think you are in the restraint. Oleg. Okay, so, Oleg, are you unable to restrain the mobile link? No, no, we moved it a little closer to the FGB. So... Hang on, let me hold it. Oleg and Anton, you have a good position uh, for the mobile link right now, so can you try and secure it in place? Okay, let's try one more time. No? Not happening? No, it's stable, it's, it's not moving, but it keeps rising. Let's leave it like this. Is it restrained? Yes, I think. Should I let it go? Let, yeah, you can let go. And can it turn a little bit more along the x-axis? Well, I thought I rolled it, but I can do it more. Yeah, while it's in this position, uh, you can uh, roll the mobile link a little bit more and set it to the right roll setting. Okay. View here from uh, Anton Skeplerov's helmet camera, and you can also okay, so see uh, in his view um, Oleg Kononenko working together with him, no, still working to get this uh, crane maneuvered into place. Not on my side either. And here is uh, the view from Kononenko's camera. You can yeah, also see Skeplerov. It has a play. It, it keeps moving back and forth, but it, it doesn't turn where we want it to be. So it's, it's kind of like sliding or slipping. It cannot get to the right position that we need to restrain it in. Can we move it down in this position? Alec, leave it in this configuration, go back to the operator post, and then you will lower it towards Strela 1. Because uh, once you're on location, you'll be able to figure it out better. Okay, can you move it a little bit more towards me? So you don't want to restrain it? No, we need to restrain it. Alex, so can you turn it as, as much as you can? Much better. So let's, let's do it like this. Secure it in place. Nope, it's unfolding. It's unfolding. Anton. Go ahead. Anton, just leave it in this position. Secure the config and and let's keep moving. Yeah, I need to restrain it in place. I don't want it to keep going back and forth. Misha, give me one second. Misha, can you hear me? We're a little over an hour and a half in today's spacewalk, which is yeah, scheduled to last six hours. I'm the crew is uh, currently so that it doesn't move out about of the um, an hour behind their their timeline.
and uh, still working to get this crane into place for the maneuver they need to do. Also uh, orbiting about 225 miles above the South Pacific Ocean and just crossed into the daylight portion of this orbit. Along the roll. Okay, let's leave it where it is. Do not do anything else. Go to the operator post. Okay, Misha, going to the operator post. Yeah, let's leave it like this, then we will lower it towards Strela 1 uh, once you're on location. Okay, on my way. All right. So we probably need to move it away from the panels at least. Misha, question. Go ahead. How is the Strela going to be rolling? Because I understand that only the grapple fixture will be rotating roll-wise. No, the very last link of the boom will be rotating along the roll. Okay. The last link on the boom is not rotating. It, it won't turn. Just the grapple fixture, Misha. Okay. Anton, please don't do anything else with it right now. Please go back to the operator post, and we'll take it from there once you're on the operator post. Okay, Misha, that's fine. Alec, this is good enough. No, look at the panels. Alec, don't. No more. Okay, and I'm going to pitch it down now. Yes. All right, let's roll. Do you hear from Oleg Kononenko's spot at the operator post as he uh, Make works sure uh, to yeah, they're fine. extend the boom? And, Alec, are you making sure that you are pitching down with the right rate? Yes. Right, and you need to pay attention to where uh, the uh, grapple fixture is uh, turning. Right, well, it's moving towards the latch, but... The mobile link would need to be rotated roll-wise, counterclockwise, uh, relative to the boom. For some reason at this point and at this location, I cannot turn it. It, it won't turn. Do you want me to try? No, not right now. Don't do anything for now. All right, so the target is right underneath. Yes, but you are to the side of it, so you're still clear. Good tolerance. The idea is to use this Strela crane, Strela 2, to pick up Strela 1, which is also located on the pier stocking compartment, and uh, use it to maneuver Strela 1 over to its new home on the Poisk Mini Research Module. 70 centimeters. Am I clear? Yes, you're you're good. The tether is pretty short. In the closed position, uh, roll-wise, for it to be rotated, the handles are pressing against it, and they're not allowing it to turn. Misha, 
based on what I understand from what Anton is saying, uh, the stoppers or the handles uh, that are required to move this safety ring. Yes, go ahead, please continue. So judging by what Anton is saying, okay, uh, and now a little bit to the right. Alec, uh, I just uh, deployed the last link uh, of the mobile link as much as possible. Do you see uh, the camera view right now? No, not right now, but uh, you can give me a detailed commentary on what you're seeing. Stop. You're stopped. Okay, so I'm trying to center the grapple fixture and the mobile link on the ball. Anton, so you're trying to center on the ball uh, the uh, grapple fixture of the mobile link, is that correct? Yes, that's right, because I figured out why it wasn't rotating roll-wise. Because the stopper restraint, which is securing in place the last link, it was pressing against the safety or transportation ring. So we kept turning it, and then once letting it go, it would travel back to its original location because it was basically not allowing it to remain in place. So we're trying to remedy that right now. Copy. All right, a little close to the target. Should I pitch up a little, Anton? Hang on. Well, the uh, target is relatively close, depending on what it is that you're planning to do. I, I think my tether is a little too short. It's kind of pulling me down. Okay, do you want me to unhook you and uh, rehook you to a different location so uh, you have more slack in your tether? I can do that, no problem. Anton, please tell us how we, things are with you. I have nothing new to tell you right now. Okay, let's turn a little bit to the right, away from the target and closer to the FGB. Okay, and work? Yeah, and then I will try to center uh, the um, boom by rotating it roll-wise a little bit uh, later. And we need to stay clear of the target when we pitch down the boom. Stop. No, the target is pretty far away to the side. Uh, why don't you look on the other side and I will watch the target. Hang on. Okay, the latch is open. Rotating it roll-wise. Misha, are you listening? Yes, I copy everything and I can see you actually. Anton Skaparov and Oleg Kononenko having some luck now getting the uh, Estrella number two into place to uh, begin um, getting ready to grapple onto Estrella number one so that it can okay, be removed. Okay, we'll be rotating with them just like we did during the, uh, the eclipse. I understand. In this view, you can see Oleg Kononenko on the uh, left-hand side of the of the crane, and uh, Anton Skaparov on the right-hand side. And uh, just I think you will below him. You can also see the end of the Strela number one that they're right getting ready to uh, grapple. The link, the drive, no, the handle that you were holding on to just a second ago. Yeah, no, it's not stable because it keeps closing and opening, and it's not very convenient. Okay, and I think I need to uh, push it down a little bit. Can you see it in the camera? Yes, Anton. Uh, go ahead and secure it in this particular configuration, and don't do anything else with it right now. Okay, I, will, I just want to move it down just a little bit more. Watch the target. Good enough, or do you want to uh, pitch down a little bit more? Yeah, it kind of um, pulls back just a little bit. Right. Anton, 
What is the distance between the mow bowling to the uh, ball? About 20 centimeters. Can we uh, deploy or extend Strela a little bit more? You mean uh, extend it out? Yes. And can you hold on to the mobile link with your hand? Yes, I can reach, but it travels back. It has like a little bit of a play. It stops and then it pulls back just a little bit. So this thing with the ball and, and the stripes. Yes, this is um, right now in operational, so you're good. If you go to on the port side of the mobile link, okay, I will initiate uh, translation towards the uh, mobile link. Copy. Yeah, and you're clear, so uh, nothing is in your way. You're you're clear to go. Олег, do you have a visual on Anton? How is he uh, translating? It's fine. I just keep watching the um, latches on the handle uh, on the Strela to make sure it's restrained well. Speaking at the same time. Can I attach, secure myself on uh, the onto the mobile link? Yes, you will be working with it, so it's okay to secure yourself to the mobile link. Okay, and uh, there's the target. No, you're you're clear. Uh, you're not touching it. Well, I'm trying not to. And where's my second tether? It's underneath. Um, the second tether is attached. Misha, we already found it. We've located it. Copy. Duck on. No, nothing on your feet. Well, one of the uh, tethers is secured to the slide wire on the mobile link. And the other one is uh, secured to a handrail. Oh, um, it's just that one of your tethers is uh, at um, 4.30. Yeah, Misha, see, if we opened the second EV hatch, uh, we would have saved this so much time. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, let's press on. Copy, Alex. And now I need to secure myself onto the circumferential tether. Actually, uh, your suit tether needs to be secured first on the operator post. Which one, the long one or the short one? Anton, how copy? Which specific tether do I need to secure onto the operator post, Misha? The, the short one. It's on. Copy. Now, the tether that's attached right now to the uh, operator post 
grapple fixture. It needs to go onto the operator post. Not on the circumferential, Alejandro. You can use any accessible handrail, uh, but uh, it would be better if you use one that's closer to the ball attachment. And is the ball attachment open right now? Because um, I actually installed it very well, Mr. And I was asking you, okay, Anton, what you need to make sure is that the uh, latch handle is in the open, which is the interim position. Well, I thought I asked you, and that's not the answer you gave me, because right now it's uh, installed really well. Okay, on the adjustable tether, you need to select the right black. So you need to adjust it, basically. Okay, first I need to secure a tether for, uh, into one of the eyelets, but I can't get it out of uh, the point that uh, it's secured to right now. So hang on, Misha. Copy. Okay, the tether is in place. Copy. And I see that you've adjusted your adjustable tether. Okay, so the latch is in the uh, middle position, uh, which is open. Copy, go ahead and uh, attach. Okay, the tether that is holding the strella to the uh, operator post is in the way. Okay, what's in the way? The tether is? Okay, where are you? Me? I'm on the operator post. Let's start lowering it to about 10 centimeters. Okay, so down, right? Yeah. You turn it and I'll watch it. Okay. Anton, are you able to pull the uh, grapple fixture closer towards the ball? I was earlier, but now when I open the latch, it moves away. Okay, keep lowering it. Yeah, uh, yeah just a couple of rotations, no more. What? Okay. I don't think we need any more. Is that enough? Does the ball need to be inserted very deeply into the mechanism? Uh, no, not very deeply. It should just slide in, and I think this, the way that it's installed right now is the right way. So go ahead and try to close the latch. Yeah, you were right. It's uh, in place. Okay, so you move the latch to the very hard stop, correct, to close it? That's the firm. Excellent, Anton. Okay, so removing the hook from the operator post. Yeah, the adjustable tether that you have on you. Needs to be attached to the handrail on the operator post. I concur.
seeing a view here from Anton Skaplerov's camera as he works to secure Strela number one, the one being moved today, to Strela number two, the one that's actually doing the heavy lifting. Um, once they've got that done, then the then the Strela will be a, one will be ready to release from the Piers docking compartment and maneuver over to its new home on the Poise Committee Research Module number two. Copy. Just a little under two hours into the day's spacewalk. Crew's running uh, a bit behind, um, but uh, making making progress on this task, which is the first of two major tasks they're hoping to get done on this spacewalk. And you will need to rotate it. Yes, I do. I see the boom pitching up. Okay, one rotation, then two seconds. Okay, uh, talk us through what you're seeing as the boom is lifting up. It's uh, moving up. Uh, do I need to watch it carefully? Well, you just need to assess whether it's lifting up at all. Yes, it's lifting up, but I don't know where to. I don't have a very good visual because of the mumbling. Okay, where are your safety tethers on your suit? Where are they secured to? They're both secured to the operator post. Copy, operator post. And I don't think that there is anything on the way of uh, the boom lifting up other than the antenna. Okay, um, well, it's going to play a little bit, so it's going to move back and forth as you're rotating it. Uh, so just um, watch where it's going and um, keep rotating gradually. Copy. We saw uh, earlier in the spacewalk Oleg Kononenko working with uh, the, the operator post of the Strela that he's currently at, and now um, Anton Skaplerov is at the operator post of the uh, Strela number one, the one that's getting moved today. And you can see him working the controls here. You can see from your vantage point if the uh, boom is lifting up, please let us know. Okay, but I can't see it right now. I, there's nothing that I can see. I can move and and look at it from a different location. No, do not move. We can actually see that the boom is moving up, so it's okay. And should it be parallel to the operator post? No, it's it's moving. The, uh, the, it's a good good motion, so you're good. Okay, copy. Alec, can you see anything? I do not. I do not see anything. Okay, but we are watching through the camera, and uh, we are watching the positioning of the boom, and it looks right. I think so, too, or I can make a couple more turns. Okay, Anton, make sure that all handles on all the drives were in the right position. They're all closed. That the extension is uh, attached to. So do we close this on extension number two? On the ex on extension on the extension you have handles that secure it in place. Uh, for pitch and roll, do not uh, tighten right now. Uh, such that you're able to uh, move the extension. Which ones are you talking about? I am talking about the handle. Handles that are... Now, the extension and the pitch. I can see uh, on the right and the left, and one is in the middle. 
All three are uh, folded, retracted. Anton, I can see that you've checked that all of the drive handles are folded. The decision right now is to uh, tighten the, the pitch retainer and the roll retainer on the extension base. Uh, both, both the Strellas. Strela 1 and Strela 2. Down on 2. The tab is closed and the retainer is tight. Okay. The one that you have underneath your right hand. That's the one. Tighten it down. Tight. A little bit more. Can you tighten it a little bit more? Just to make sure. That's it. Done. Understood. Now you need to fold the foot restraint. Uh, remove the foot restraint from the operator station and fold it. The uh, tether um, with the uh, snap hook, it's supposed to be secured to a handrail because you're going to be moving it right now. I can see only one handrail close. Uh, go ahead and attach to that. 30-35. First the short and then the long one. Oleg, how are you hanging out there? Looks okay. Copy.